So we have just had a great race at the Red Bull Ring in Austria, one of the best races we have seen over the last couple of years. A great battle at the very end of the race, and we are now going to go into what happened in this epic race in Austria. Now, first off, let's get into the provisional race classification. So for now, Max Verstappen is amazingly your race winner from Charles Leclerc second, Bottas third, Vettel fourth, Hamilton fifth, and then Norris, Gasly, Sainz, Raikkonen, and Giovinazzi complete the points. And then finishing the race, but outside the points, Perez, Ricardo, Hulkenberg, Stroll, Albon, Grosjean, Kvyat, Russell, Magnussen, and Kubica. But now, let's get into the teams and how they did. First off, Mercedes, who had no pace today. In the first stint, they looked all right, but after the first pit stop, they didn't really go anywhere. They went actually backwards. There was no real speed in the car today, and that is definitely a worry going forward into Silverstone. First off, Valtteri Bottas. I think he drove well today. His speed, though, in the final part of the race was really not good, and I think he was a bit poor in not defending from Max Verstappen because he didn't defend at all. He let Verstappen through, basically, and I think, honestly, that was a bit poor. Even if Max did eventually get through, at least, you know, try and defend your position because you never know, Max might go off the track and you might finish in P2. So, I don't know why Bottas didn't defend, but he finishes in P3 and at least uh, gains on Lewis Hamilton in the Drivers' Championship for the first time since uh, Baku. But for Lewis Hamilton, you have to say, by his standard, quite a poor race today because he, at the start, uh, didn't have that great of a start, got passed around the outside by Lando Norris, got back ahead though very quickly. And then uh, his pace in the first stint was pretty good but then i think damaged his car by going off the track or slightly off the uh, off the track a few times on the exit turn one then had to put a new front wing on at his uh first and only pit stop and then settled into fifth vettel pitted for another time for soft tires and then uh lewis hamilton got up to fourth but was passed late on by vettel but definitely for the team as a whole not a good race at all, and they will be a bit concerned going to Silverstone for sure. Next up is Ferrari. Charles Leclerc, for now, has had the race just about took away from him. I think Charles Leclerc did drive very well today. He was very consistent up front, but he couldn't hold back Max Verstappen because Verstappen had absolutely immense pace in himself and also the uh, Red Bull car. So I don't think in the end there was much Leclerc could do. And I think second, based on the pace of the race and how the race went, I think that is what he deserves because Max Verstappen was just so good today. And well, if he does get the win back, then obviously great for him. But even if he doesn't, he should be very, very proud of his drive because he drove like a champion today in this Grand Prix and also defended well at times from Max Verstappen. And for Sebastian Vettel, I think Vettel did drive well today. Got past, of course, uh, Norris, Gasly uh, at the start, Verstappen after Verstappen's bad start, then Raikkonen. Then after he was passed by Max Verstappen, after his first pit stop, pitted again for soft tyres, caught Lewis Hamilton, passed him at the end, and was one lap away, Sebastian Vettel, from a podium. So, shame for him, but I think he gave everything and actually drove really well today. And I think Sebastian, if he didn't have his issue yesterday, I think Sebastian would have been, for sure, finishing on the podium. But still, despite not winning for now... You cannot doubt Ferrari have had a great weekend. No doubt about that. Red Bull next up. And you have to say, Max Verstappen, that drive was one of the best drives I've ever seen since I started watching Formula 1 in 2011. It was unbelievable how quick, how aggressive and how great he was passing Vettel. Bottas and then eventually Leclerc for the race win. 
We're not going to get into the incident between him and Leclerc yet because I will do that tomorrow, Monday at 12 p.m. UK time for my incident analysis video. But his drive was definitely the best of his career so far and was one of the best performances we have seen in a very, very long time. Also, great for Honda. Because at the moment, it is Honda's first race win since 2006. So great for them. And Honda um, are definitely, compared to a couple years ago, looking better in Formula 1. But yeah, for Verstappen, what a drive. And especially after the start he had, dropping from 2nd down to P7. And coming from P7 to win in 71 laps. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, but for Pierre Gasly, even though today he was better, I'm sorry, still not good enough. He got lapped by his teammate and was unable to beat Lando Norris today. And I've said before, I'll say again, if you don't think he is um, not good enough for Red Bull, I don't understand what you're on about because the guy has clearly showed in the last three races that he is clearly not good enough for Red Bull. Gasly, nowhere near good enough for that team. And he does have to be dropped because he's not getting enough out of that car. He really isn't. He's still in the midfield despite being in a top car. So I'm sorry, not good enough at all. But now let's get on to the midfield. Renault... I think in terms of pace, they weren't bad at times, but this weekend they never had enough pace to finish in the points. McLaren and Alfa Romeo do have clearly a faster car. There is no doubt about that whatsoever. And that's why Renault have finished in 12th and 13th. And I think Renault will be very perplexed by what has been quite a... Weird weekend in terms of their lack of pace. I don't think Renault know why they've been so slow this weekend compared to Monaco, Canada and their home race in France. So Renault have got to figure out what went wrong ahead of Silverstone because they can't afford to finish without points when McLaren are scoring more than 10 points in the Grand Prix. That cannot happen for them. Next up is McLaren. They are absolutely, without a doubt, the best team in the midfield. There is no doubt about that whatsoever. Lando Norris P6, very good drive. He really did uh, have a great start going round the outside of Lewis Hamilton at turn one. Great, great overtake. And from then on, after Raikkonen passed him, uh, on the first lap, I believe. Then did very well after Vettel and Verstappen got past Norris and Raikkonen. Did very well to pass Raikkonen, then pull away, and then comfortably finished at the front of the midfield. But the second best driver today, you have to say, is Carlos Sainz. Started 19th and finished in 8th. What a drive he passed. Stroll. Uh, Hulkenberg, Perez, Giovinazzi and Raikkonen in the second half of the race to get P8. Great drive and he fully, fully deserves uh, a points finish. And McLaren right now are really, really looking good. Going into Silverstone where I think McLaren will be again at the front of the midfield. Next up is Alfa Romeo. Even though they did drop back, I think Alfa, you have to say... Have had a good day today. Raikkonen in ninth and Giovinazzi in 10th. They don't have as quick of a car as, say, Gasly does in the Red Bull or as the two McLarens. So where they finished is about right because right now you would have to say that Alpha have probably the fifth best car, or at least they did this weekend. So... I think Alpha's result is absolutely fine. I think both drivers drove well. And great news and good drive for Antonio Giovinazzi finishing in the points. I have been harsh on him, but I will say I am starting to see what people were rating him for. And he is turning into quite a good little driver. Next up is Haas. I'll keep it brief. They were absolutely terrible. At times, Williams were faster. They have no race pace and no grip when it comes to the race. They are pretty much done for 2019. 
Next up is Toro Rosso. Um, kind of the same with them. They don't have really any pace right now. Of course, they would have liked to start uh, higher on the grid, but I don't think the Toro Rosso car is quick enough to finish in the points right now. They've definitely, I don't know what they've done, but they have took a step back uh, like Racing Point did a few races ago. So Toro Rosso have got to improve if they want to get back the points finishes in Formula 1. And of course, at the back of the midfield is Racing Point. I think Sergio Perez deserves a shout out for, to, uh, for this race today because he was for a few laps in the points. And if Carlos Sainz wasn't so good today, I think Perez would have finished in the points in P10. A very good drive for Perez in P11. I think he did the best he could. Stroll didn't really have that good of a race and finished in, what was it, 14th place. And of course, Williams are at the very back. Great for Russell, by the way, to beat a Haas on maybe not genuine pace, but just beat him in the race. That's great for him. But guys, that is it for a very, very exciting and great 2019 Austrian Grand Prix race and weekend. And hopefully you'll all join us tomorrow for the incident analysis of Verstappen versus Leclerc. And join us in two weeks for my personal home Grand Prix at, Silver at Silverstone, the British Grand Prix.